Hey YouTube, Gordon Miller here. I'm uh, here at the gym, getting ready to go swimming. It's uh, somewhere around 7 a.m. Uh, sun's starting to come up. It's one of my favorite places to be. Probably do some of the uh, live broadcasts from here. Gotta make sure I don't fall over the wall here. So <clears throat> I'm gonna start uh, translating my 10,000 answers on Quora.com uh, where I'm the 10th most viewed person on the platform. We've got a 132 categories uh, where I'm a top writer and uh, so we're gonna bring all that uh, content all 10,000 items to uh, uh, to YouTube to Instagram to snapchat everything else so uh, this one is one that I get all the time it's uh, what um, you know what do you invest in in terms of stock or what do you recommend investing in and I have to say you know I got that question again this morning from one of my Instagram followers uh, who's in charge of you know the an investment club and in one of the universities and um, you know I, I am so sorry but uh, if you believe that uh, public stock is a worthwhile investment then you have been sold a lie it is definitely not a worthwhile investment <laughs> at least not uh, where you have somebody who's claims to know more than the next guy about what it is that you should be investing in. Uh, the only thing I recommend is I recommend people putting between $500 and $1,000 a month into an indexed fund of either the S&P 500 or the Dow. And uh, you put it into a no-load uh, mutual fund and you let that shit sit there for 40 years. You start investing when you're 20 and uh, by the time you're 60, you have over $1.8 million in there and you continue uh, doing what you do. You know, you're, you're going to live to be at least 90. So you want to uh, create at least $2 million worth of actual cash assets. And uh, the only way to do that is to do it over the long term and have compounding interest be your friend. And then live off the interest that it generates never spending the principal. Or spending a minimum of between 2 and 4% of the principal every year. But, you know, aside from that, that's really the only thing that makes any sense at all. And, uh, you know, I got the, uh, I got the question, well, uh, well, what about rebalancing? Well, rebalancing is a concept that the brokerage industry came up with that is uh, code for you don't trade often enough for me to make any goddamn money. So we're going to go ahead and trade something every year so I can, ca I can get a commission check. Well, that's bullshit. You know, fuck them. You know, and I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of guys out there in the financial industry that are trading stocks that think they know what they're doing. But if you look at the statistics, 78% of all the uh, investment plays made less money last year than in a straight index fund of the Dow or S&P 500. And that means that, you know, a, there's a good chance that 80% of you guys are not going to make any more money. You're busy trying to optimize your return. And in the meantime, you're just fucking it up. You know, that makes no sense at all. So I don't know why in the world anybody would, uh, you know, pick one broker over another. You know, they may take you out for a nice dinner and they may, uh, you know, you guys may go have some drinks and, you know, maybe take you to the club or whatever. But, you know, it's all bullshit in the end. All they want is a commission check, you know, based on how much money you have to spend in your portfolio. You know, uh, so anyway, I, I don't, uh, you know, I don't necessarily think that, uh, you know, uh, stocks are where the money's at. I mean, I, I think that private equity and, uh, and overall equity positions and building businesses and things like that is really where the money is. But that's just me. You know, I mean, I, just, I don't think that uh, stocks are, I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't do stocks. I'm saying everybody should put, you know, $1,000 a month away. And I, I, I heard, you know, time and time again from people, they're like, well, you know, I don't understand. Uh, you know, I only make three thousand a month, so how can I put a thousand away? You can't. You know, if if you have a thousand dollar rent and five hundred dollar car payment, and you got to eat, then uh, and you got student loans of about a thousand dollars, then you're not obviously going to be able to put a thousand dollars away. But you know, you need to put at least five hundred dollars away. If that means you know you get a second job, so you make five hundred dollars, or drive Uber on the weekends, or whatever you're going to do, then I recommend you know that you figure out what you're going to do to be able to make that make sense. So anyway, the, um, you know, the, unfortunately, you know, the stock brokerage industry is just there to take advantage of the people who are out there that, you know, end up being sold the lie and told that they need to trade. You know, you don't need to trade. You need to find a solid investment, you know, take your ups and downs, you know, have losses and gains. And over time, it'll still work out to your advantage. So, you know, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that, 
you know, you've, you've been sold this lie that, you know, you're going to get some amazing return with this great broker. And uh, it's just not true. I mean, you know, this guy is just simply going to cash your, you know, your, his commission check and doesn't really give a shit whether you make money or not. As long as you're trading, they're making money. And that's just the reality of it. So anyway, um, as far as, um, you know, the, uh, I mean, these, you know, brokers are out there, they're basically just stock pimps. You know, they're out there pimping stuff. Most of it is stuff they make a decent commission on. And so, uh, you know, I don't, uh, you know, I don't understand why the average American still believes that stocks are a great investment. So anyway, all right, that's my rant for this morning. I'm going to try to drop new content every day. Uh, I actually like it as the sun's coming up and, uh, you know, the, uh, the roof deck here is really nice. You know, I wish this was my pool. You know, it's, uh, I'm not going to pull a uh, Ty Lopez and say, hey, I like being here in my pool. But uh, no, it's not, not, you know, not my place, just my gym. So anyway, uh, I appreciate it. Again, uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, in, people from Instagram coming over to YouTube, subscribe, follow me here. Uh, we have 10,000 pieces of content being dropped over the next two years. Uh, all the stuff coming from Quora.com. Uh, you can go over to Quora.com and uh, search up Gordon Miller, and you'll be able to find me there as well. All right. Thank you all very much. Have a good day.